and welcome to Transition Career Solution YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss ISC 2019 Business Studies Suggestion. आप लोग सब जानते हैं कि आपका पूरा पेपर तीन घंटे का होता है, जो ISC में आपको तीन घंटे अलॉट मिलते हैं पेपर राइटिंग टाइम, 15 मिनट्स रीडिंग टाइम मिलता है आपको, और आपका टोटल मार्क्स फॉर दिस इयर्स एग्जाम इज 80. Now let's see the format of your paper. So this is your format of your business study paper for 2019. As you can see, there are two parts, part one and part two. Part one has total 20 marks and part two has total 60 marks. In part one, which is question number one, contains 10 questions. So you'll be having question number one with 10 questions. Her question, do marks ka hoga. Iska matlab, 10 into 2 which is equals to 20. Ye aapka pura part 1 comprise karta hai jo 20 marks ka hota hai. Ab hum dekhte hai part 2 which is your 60 marks. Is mein aapko total 8 questions allot kiye jate hai. Aur in mein se aapko kinhi 5 ko karna hai. Matlab aapke paas extra 3 options hota hai. Each question contains 12 marks each which is 12 into 5, which is equals to 60. So you can see your 80 marks paper, which is 20 marks for your short questions and 60 marks for your long questions. So students, you can learn your chapter according fee, according to, accordingly to the part 1, part and part 2. Now let's further de discuss the chapters in detail. So students, as you know, you've got total five chapters in your business studies book. And firstly, we'll discuss chapter number one. Chapter number one, you can see there are at least 13 subdivisions which I have written over here. Let's see. The first chapter is human resource management. These are the 13 important topics that you need to see for your exam. First topic is introduction to human resource management. Second is job and manpower planning. Third is staff recruitment. Fourth is staff selection. Fifth is staff training. Sixth, staff morale. Seventh, staff motivation. Eight, staff remuneration. Nine, staff leadership. Ten, staff appraisal. Eleven, staff promotion and transfer. Twelve, staff separation. And thirteen, emerging trends in human resource so from these chapters you can get both short questions as well as long questions now moving on to chapter number two which is your business communication and correspondence this chapter has three parts which is business communication second part is business correspondence and third part is current trends in business communication if you go through the chapter, you will have basic of writing, business letter, reporting, everything there is there in your textbook. Moving to chapter number three, which is business size and finance. You've got two important sections, that is various business entities and sources of business finance. Chapter number four, that is globalization and recent trends in business. This has five topics. First is globalization. Second is e-business. Third is outsourcing. Fourth is types of outsourcing. And five is online means of conducting business. As you can see, this chapter consists of the important part which is dealing in today's business. Globalization, e-business and outsourcing are practiced in today's world. So this chapter is very important as you can see. Moving on to chapter number 5, which is business regulators and intermediaries. This has two sections. First is regulators and intermediaries. And number two is roles of regulators and intermediaries. If you can see, role of regulators and intermediaries are covering six parts. First has RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India. Second is SEBI, that is Security and Exchange Board of India. C is 
Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India, that is IRDAI. Fourth is PFRDA, that is Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. E is Food Safety and Standard Authority of India, that is FSSAI. And sixth is Indian Standard Institute, that is ISI. Students, sometimes for your short answers, you get full form writing even. Like they can write, write the full form of SEBI or IRDAI. So it is very important to remember the abbreviation and the full form of it also. All five chapters are very important. This year they have brought up a new syllabus for business study. So there is no options for you to letting down anything. Read every chapters carefully. Do selective studies for both for short answers as well as for long answers. Maintain neatness in your question paper. Leave two lines after each answer. Do not try wasting time drawing lines. If you think you have extra time, then you can leave, line, uh, leave lines and draw a margin across it. Do not scribble too much. Maintain neatness. Write your answers to the point. Here are some important questions for business studies for 2019. Some questions which are listed over here might come in your exams. These are important part. So let us see. First question, what is meant by e-recruitment? You know e stands for electronic, electronic recruitment. Explain any three benefits and any three limitations of the same. Second question is, Definitions of Blake and Mountain Managerial Grid. Third question is, what is permanent part-time? Fourth is, difference between formal communication and informal communication. As you know, formal communication is supposed to be on business topics which you talk about work. And informal communication is about talking in normally. The things we, which we deal in our daily life. Fifth question is, explain two factors affecting the leadership style. Sixth, what is meant by staff, attrition? Briefly explain any three means of staff attrition. Seventh is, what is meant by the term regulators and intermediaries? Moving on to question number eight, explain the meaning and relevance of the four types of transfers. Nine, define regulators and intermediaries. Number 10, explain IRDAI, B, FSSAI, C, POS. So you can see these are abbreviations which are written and you need to write, firstly you need to write their full form and then you have to explain. If in short question it is just given with abbreviation and expanded that you do not need to write its definition you just need to write its full form but when it's given in a long question you have to write both you have to explain the full form of it even and then explaining it meaning question number 11 what is human resource management very important question this is B state any two threats caused to business by globalization? 13. Explain the leadership grid theory with diagram. 14. Explain the four condition of demotion. And 15. Explain the significance of HRM for the society and enterprise. So students, we have discussed the whole questions discuss kiya hai yaha par. Ye important questions that you have taken from five chapters. It means that you don't have to ignore the rest of your parts. Those parts are important. Hai. But you have to keep your attention. There are chances that these questions might come. Ye sare questions ke answer aapke books mein hai. Agar aap thoro hai apne books se, to aapko is questions ka answer dhunne mein ya is question ko samajhne mein difficulty nahi hoongi. Thank you for watching our video and all the best.